I'm running for United States Senate, because I still believe that anything is possible in America if we have a Washington that works for us. So it's official. I talked about it in my very first video about the Udall Succession War Part 1, which you could uh, see, you could find up here uh, in a link. Uh, but uh, now it's official. One of the candidates we thought might be running in this race has finally said, yes, I'm in. And that is Maggie Toulouse Oliver, the current New Mexico Secretary, Sta Secretary of State. She has announced her candidacy uh, opened up with a two-minute video about herself, uh, what she sees out there in New Mexico, and why she's running. Now, uh, she's also uh, posted on her own campaign website her initial opening video along with her initial opening statement. Um, and in the bold, in the first paragraph there, Maggie Toulouse Oliver is a progressive trailblazer running to become the first woman elected to the United States Senate from New Mexico. And right away, you're going to see, I think, a difference uh, between the Maggie Toulouse Oliver campaign and the Ben Ray Lujan campaign. Um, and so in the very first paragraph, the very first opening sentence, the word progressive is used progressive trailblazer so she's putting out a bold statement right there that uh, donkey fant does not seem to be an adjective that would describe her well um, she's uh, lived here all her life um, had it tough when she was younger uh, struggled paycheck to paycheck like a lot of New Mexicans uh, but uh, she's known as serving as the Bernalillo County Clerk uh, for many years, and then now Secretary of State um, here in New Mexico. I'll have to say that, uh, well, let me get to the finish. Let me get to the end of this, and I'll give you some more reaction. Uh, then there is, at the bottom part of this, underneath the, the video photograph, it states, as a U.S. Senator, Maggie will use her experience to bring the right kind of change to Washington. That means making sure everyone has access to affordable quality health care through Medicare for all. Maggie will be a champion for working families. She'll be a fierce voice for women, women's rights to choose and equal pay for equal work. She'll push a Green New Deal and she'll take on Donald Trump's backward policies to cut Social Security and Medicare. In the Senate, Maggie will never stop working to make sure we have a Washington that works for all of us. So I stated at the beginning that we saw the word progressive right out of the gate, first sentence, unapologetically. And now we get a couple other things. In the, in the first paragraph of this bottom section, she uses a term, a term that um, I'm going to talk about uh, in a future video when I'm going to bring in all the candidates here, um, and not just the candidates running for U.S. Senate, but uh, presidential candidates, ones from other parts of the country, and uh, a very interesting distinction in what's going on in the verbiage of what Democratic candidates are saying. There's a very specific three-word phrase that she uses, Medicare for all. Three words. Medicare for all. Three words. Um, and you wouldn't think it would be hard to get three words out like that. So tight, so to the point, and so clear. Medicare for all. And yet, you, if you listen very carefully, you're going to find that some candidates uh, cannot say these three words put together unless they're attacking it. They cannot say it in a positive light. They will not say it in a positive light. Maggie Toulouse Oliver is saying it in a positive light. Um, and then uh, she talks about pushing for the Green New Deal um, and taking on Donald Trump and protecting Social Security and Medicare. So these, these are some basics, at least to me, these are basics of uh, Democratic Party candidacy, Democratic Party um, values. Um, but uh, so... Maggie Toulouse Oliver's in. Um, some people say that she has no shot. Other people say she's going to have trouble rent, uh, raising money. Um, 
and I think all of that is is it's too early. It's up in the air. We're gonna have to see what happens. Um, but I will tell you that if you want to drive a people-oriented campaign, if you want to do more grassroots, less big dollars, um, she is she is putting out the kind of statements that may excite those very people to come and help. So uh, we're going to keep tabs on this. I've got more videos coming about the U.S. Senate race. Uh, I'm going to talk about some of the issues surrounding the U.S. Senate race and uh, how some of these different candidates stack up. But uh, I just wanted to put this video out saying it's, it's there. We now have a three-way race for the Democratic U.S. Senate. We have uh, Ben Ray Lujan, Giovanni Alexander Hakani, and now Maggie Toulouse Oliver. Will there be more? I don't know. Um, some of the people who thought they might run have dropped out uh, or dropped out of consideration, uh, but the year is still young. And um, honestly, I think it's going to be up to these three to shut off the oxygen by from their own work. If uh, they're good at getting a uh, groundswell of support from the areas that they need to get their support and um, the lines get drawn a lot clearer, it may be a three-person race. If they don't, then that may leave room for others to jump in. Um, so uh, stay tuned. There will be more on this as well. I, I just want to say, by the way, too, um, this last week I've uh, received, uh, I've been getting a lot of support from my viewership, my subscribers, and I just wanted to say to you, I really appreciate it. Um, there has been uh, people helping me with um, with getting me information that I need to be able to do my uh, shows. There's also uh, people who have uh, sent me uh, private messages uh, thanking me for my work. I've gotten phone calls. Uh, it means a lot. I'm going to continue on this project and we're going to continue to make this um, a bigger and stronger channel. Um, starting at the end of May, you'll see a lot more production coming in and as well as some bonus content for my Patreon subscribers. So hang in there. Please like this video, subscribe, click the bell. Please become one of my Patreon supporters and um, let's make this thing big because uh, there's a lot to be talked about about the politics here, both on the federal level and definitely on the state legislative level and even down to the city level on many things. Things that have gone unsaid for 30 years are now going to be said. So stay tuned. Thank you very much.